What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. And you know, this show right here, The Mandalorian, right? New episode just dropped. Okay, season three is out right now. And I'm going to keep this 100%. I don't think this show is all of that. Okay, I don't think this show is all of that. I think it's okay. All right, it's an okay show. Not a bad show, but not a great show. Okay, it's just kind of floating somewhere in the middle of good and okay. All right, and then occasionally it's just kind of like this is nothing but filler material. Some episodes feel completely like filler. And I'm gonna tell you, this first episode of season three just kind of felt like a, a filler episode. All right, I know that they're kind of setting the stakes of what's supposed to be going on and what's happening right now. They're just kind of setting the stage, but it just feels like filler. All right, there was no like heavy drama in this thing okay you know we kind of already knew some of the material based on what we saw in season two and you know it's just feeling like another repeat of season two i know john favreau is a better writer and director than this and this i'm telling you man this first episode just got me like ooh, what kind of you know what kind of season are we gonna get out of this okay I mean, are we going to get some bangers? Are we going to get some great episodes? Are we just going to get a whole lot of uh, whatever? All right. Especially coming off the heels of Andor. I thought it was very, very interesting that on the day that Mandalorian come out, look what's trending. Andor. Andor is trending. Okay. Not the Mandalorian. All right. I'm like looking in here. Is there any Mandalorian in here on the top trending? No, no. All kind of stuff on Amber Heard and everything else. But yeah, Andor is trending, right? This is a trending topic right now. Why is Andor trending when Mandalorian is coming out? You know why? Because a lot of people are like, yeah, you know what? I, I'm liking Andor. I want to go back and watch Andor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's kind of funny. Like this guy says, there are some great VFX going on in the season premiere of The Mandalorian, but oh boy, the writing has become the worst thing about this show after Andor. Hard to ignore how weak this dialogue is and the delivery isn't much better. This guy, Andor has ruined Star Wars for me. Mando is so fucking dumb in comparison. Yeah, man. It's like this thing is just feeling weak, like super weak right now, okay? And like this person is responding. Of course, you're allowed to like Andor and the Mandalorian. Of course you are. Uh, but look what they're responding to. Andor's greatness makes it tougher to love other Star Wars shows. I mean, Andor did such a great, great job telling a very interesting story, no big major special effects, just grounded characters, all right? I, I, I'm just amazed at how I feel right now about The Mandalorian. And look, I felt this way as well during season two, all right? Season two felt like a whole lot of running around the galaxy and your princess is in another castle, Mario, okay? At the end of every episode, oh, you gotta go to this planet. Oh, okay. And then he goes on some other mission, completes the mission, and then he gets there, all right? And, and oh, you gotta go to this planet to get the information you're looking for. And it was like that the entire season up until he finally ran into Ahsoka. And then she told him, oh, you gotta go to the Jedi Temple. And it was like, god damn man you know but that's how that story felt like that season was just you know like running through a video game and you complete a mission and then next thing you know you're off to the next mission all right instead of actually getting any kind of story or resolution or anything it just felt like it just sapped the energy out of the entire franchise the way that whole season two was set up and then i think they should have just said you know what grogu's not coming back i don't give a damn what kathleen kennedy is saying she's he's not coming back we're gonna be hyper focused on mando stuff and that's it but grogu is in this and he's just he's cute and fun and he's dragging the story down all right, we got to take time to watch Grogu doing cute stuff. There was none of that in Andor, okay? Look at this, like this guy says, Andor made me legit ready to battle fascist oppression at the potential cost of my own life. The Mandalorian makes me want to buy a cute plush toy. Personally, I prefer the Star Wars that challenges me to be something other than a man child, but that's just me. This guy is saying Mando over Andor, and it's not even close. I, I don't know what this guy is talking about, but, you know, that's on him. He has his own opinion on it. And then you see like the differences in the stuff. These are the characters that was here. The aliens, the 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 scary pirates or whatever, weren't really scary at all. Just kind of looked goofy and silly, you know. And again, that's part of Star Wars lore. I'm not taking that away from it. Of course, that can be fun and that can be exciting just like anything else. But like this Andor stuff, the stuff that was going on in Andor, it's just on a completely different level. Yeah, Andor really spoiled the hell out of me. We'll be tuning in next week, of course, but with the recalibrated expectations. It's weird to have criticisms. I don't often voice these because I usually just don't care enough. So thanks for reading it if you made it here. Like, yeah, dude, I understand. I'm right there with you. I, I 
tuned into this episode expecting just to be, hey, man, back to Mandalorian stuff. You know, I, I didn't really love the second season, but hey, you know, I like the trailers. I've liked what I've seen so far. And I like the fact that this is about the retaking of Mandalore. Okay, it's like, all right, this is going to be a cool story, you know. Then Jaren's going to have to try to figure out how he's going to unite these two, you know, disparate factions, okay. He's got the, the guys that he grew up with, but then he's got Bo-Katan's group, all right. And he's going to have to somehow try to blend all of these guys together. He's holding the dark saber. This should be interesting. Man, this first episode just made me like, man, can we just skip to the end? I just want to get to the point that I love. I don't want to sit up here and have to sit through, you know, 35, 40 minutes of filler, okay? I'm not about that. But I don't know if this, I don't know how this season is going to go. This is from the article on Collider where they're basically saying, you know, the episode shifts into the formulaic mission of the week styling that the Mandalorian has become known for, then has a series of side quests he needs to complete before venturing off into the great unknown that is Mandalore. As anyone who's played video games would know, I hadn't even read this article, but I just said it felt like a video game. It's always important to check back in with members of your inner circle, which is why then jets off to Navarro to reunite with grief, uh, grief carga so on and so forth look this this show is so video game like i don't like it okay i don't like it i don't like the way they set that up i like the story that's being told here okay and when they get to the story points the actual story it's fine all right but when they do all of these side quests when they start setting up all of this extra stuff I, i'm not into this all right I don't know if this is the best way to tell this story, but I don't know. This is just crazy to me. But I just found it interesting that Andor was trending on the day that The Mandalorian was coming out. Everybody was saying, man, Andor is boring. Oh, we don't like Andor. Andor is boring. Andor is trending the day that your favorite show, Mandalorian, is debuting on Disney+. Plus, And everybody's talking about Andor. That, I just find that hilarious. But anyway, folks, what do you think about this situation? Did you already watch The uh, Mandalorian uh, Season 3 opener? Um, did you see it? Did you like it? What is your opinion of this, you know, series as a whole? Go ahead, jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and your opinions on that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.